Yo, I'm interviewing you, Quan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, we are, we are live on the scene as yes, your boy Quan and Don. As y'all can see, I'm in here with yeah, the infamous K C. K K K K Caesar. Hey. We're gonna just jump it off with that before anybody say do the drop. We're gonna do it off top, all right? <laughs> hey, this the hypest DJ in the land right here. If y'all didn't know, right? Yes, here. Sir. Straight out of Gary, right? Uh-huh. Gary, Indiana, stand up, 219. You all know what it is, man. Hey, listen, second home, Chicago and Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm rocking everywhere. But listen, the world is my home. The world is my home. Their part. He's trying to put this camera on me like he had to do a be for real right now. You know, I'm this back, man. We're going to be all orthodox today, man. We're going to get both of us in the, in the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, let's, put, let's, let's do it that way. Yeah! That part right uh-huh. there. And now, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I just want to start off by saying, you know, it's an honor to be here with you right now. I've been watching you since I can't even remember how long now you've been basically doing your thing all over Chicago, the radio, we've been seeing you. But right now, I just feel like you're on fire on another level right now mm-hmm. with the things that you're doing. And, and, and I see it taking off, taking off right now. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Yes, just, sir. Even watching the numbers grow from week to week, like this, I mean, we check on each other. We all in the social media realm. We friends with each other. So when it pop up on my timeline, I'm looking. Yeah. I'm clicking and liking, but I'm looking too. Like, who is that? Oh, I like that little song. Or you know, who who is that guy? So it's 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 good to actually see um, the DJs doing that in this light in the city now because. I used to hear the artists complain that oh they don't do this for the artists. Oh yeah. Well they don't do this for the artists, but as far as right now, it's like you see that trend um changing mm. and that tone changing and it's kinda like, you know, y'all in the forefront of that. And, yeah. And, and and creating those avenues so that now that, that narrative and that talk is changing. And so kinda what's that kind of been like, even just to take off and do that? Uh you know what, uh, I've always uh credited my career off of uh, rocking with underground artists coming up in Gary. That was a way that I was able to transcend in the DJing game when I originally started by, uh, you know, always rocking with the artists, trying to help them out, get the music played in the clubs or environments in which that they wanted their music played but couldn't get it played. So uh, now it's just on a broader scale. I still got the same mentality, but now that I've reached a higher level, I'm still reaching back, trying to help all the artists I can, man. You know, I rock with the underground heavy. I used to rap, actually. That's what a lot of people don't know about me, man. Yeah. Used to rap? Yeah, I was a battle rapper. I was a real life. I was no, on, cut I was, it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> cut it out. I was on MTV, man. I won a couple of uh, Chicago battle raps. Yeah. Yeah, underground circuits, man. I made it to MTV. Uh, myself and uh, I'm not going to name any other rappers I was on it because, you know what I'm saying? This you don't freestyle pride in two wheels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying. I actually got to... Uh, Rapper Dame Dash, Kanye was there. Yeah, it's footage of it. So if you go on YouTube, look up DJ KC. They, MTV snatches it down every once in a while, but people always put it up. So it's probably still up there right now. Factual. That's yeah, right. yeah. So hey, that was, that's dope right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I, a little bit of everything. Yeah, now. yeah. I always touched it. I always was more drawn to the DJing, though. Fact. I would say, uh, not to just like go too far, of course, but uh, like when I originally... I don't want to say uh, found the love for it because I always had a love for the music manipulation, even as a child. But uh, like my first experience with it, I was scratching on a like a Care Bears record or something on my sisters, and I remember my father was pretty upset about that man. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <what are> you <laughs> but uh, when I ended up going to college in Indianapolis, they uh, they had access to buy the DJ equipment. We did too. There's no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got access. But they had it there, like they had the guitar centers there, like right in the city. Gary, we didn't have that. We had to travel, you know, like to wherever we could get our stuff from. We didn't have it right there. We didn't have a guitar at the time. So uh, they had like the newest technology. And I was like, man, this is pretty dope. You know what I mean? They rocking on the techniques or whatever, the CDJs, whatever was out at the time. So uh, I adapted the knowledge from it there. Right. So when I came back home from college, uh, I was down to partying too much, man. So I, <laughs> I come on back home you like everybody man. else, man. We all, uh, <laughs> college drop out in Indianapolis, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was partying way too much, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, once I came back, I still had the same love for it. Right. And uh, it was some DJs in my town, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they had their equipment, how they got it. And I was like, I need to get some too. So I went and bought some equipment, came back home. 
Now I'm rocking. I'm learning how to do it. One of my cousins came over to my house, saw me doing it. He uh, was like, man, that's dope. He went and bought some equipment, right? So now he's DJing, I'm DJing. But he uh he got good real quick. Like, I don't know, he just had a knack for it. Mm -hmm. I had one too, but I was like, you know what I mean? Take my time, be methodical with it. He was like, mm -mm, I'm DJing, I'm DJing. So what happened was uh, I started helping him like get gigs. I was helping him promote. So uh, it was one night, uh, I'm not going to go into who he is because he might be watching, but uh, he needed to borrow some money from me, right? Right. So this is 100% fact. So I gave him the money. Boom. Here. Yeah, no questions asked. I ain't said, when you pay me back, nothing. Gave him the money. All right. So uh, an event came up that he could DJ at. Right. And I was like, yo, they need a DJ for this event. This is enough money for you to pay me back and you'll make some profit. And you're like, ah, oh, now I don't want to do this gig tonight. I'm going to kick it with this girl or something like that, right? And when he did that at that moment, I was like, man, if this dude don't want this money, I want this money. So from that day forward, I've been DJing ever since. That that was it? Yep, that was it. It's not the old traditional. Look, <laughs> look, I thought, you, I thought you had a whole extravagant yeah. ass. It's it's like, no. Money. I, I was owed some money. I didn't get it back at the time. I got it back, but not at that time. And that's what start that's why that's they see it. It's going crazy right now, yeah. I needed that money. That answers a lot. I was going to say, because you be hype. You yeah, be hype. yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's my DJ. I think back to that money that was on. Like, yeah. Hey, hey. I'm going to get that plus ball. <laughs> <laughs> get that money. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's what's up right there, though. Uh, on, on another note, there's a... Uh, a real big change as far as the music scene yeah. and the type of things, content that is coming out of the city of Chicago. Oh yeah. I feel like a lot of us are starting to work together. Yes. On a bigger scale and a bigger level here. Um as far as in the DJ scene, everything's kinda of changing now that COVID is coming around. So like how is how is it how are you able to adapt basically in order to keep thriving and doing what you were to do? Oh, yeah, man. You know, uh, you just can't let anything stop you as always. Uh, like I always tell people, you got to look at things in a non-linear fashion. You know what I'm saying? Right. So linear is just straight line. Everything you see it, you got to look at it non-linear. Nothing is a straight line. You know what I'm saying? You can do a circle here, square here, and it still will take you back to the same path. But you can go different directions, different diagonals, different shapes. You know what I'm saying? To get back to this path that you want. So it's always different outlets. Internet, uh, all the social media groups, all these things are in place for us to still get our point across, still do what we got to do, still work within your regard. You know what I mean? Right. You just got to find a way to work with, within your regard using these other outlets so, and forms of uh, just entertainment. Right. So, like, yeah, you just got to get out there and get it. You know what I mean? All right, so with that being said, I want to start some, some beef right now. Okay? All right, all right. All right, so I, I read on the meme one, one somewhere that uh, k was one of the freshest DJs out here. Can we can we agree to that? You know what I'm saying, man? Right now. Fashion <laughs> <laughs> over, get out. Fashion over. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I say my boy need a deal out that here. Is it. Walk Any DJ way. that want to try to outfresh me, I'm, I'm with all the smoke. All the smoke. <laughs> all of it. Any DJ, anywhere, USA, France, Australia, the moon, aliens, whoever, man. Whoever want it. Reptilians, whoever, man. <laughs> listen, I'm fresh it all, y'all. Conspiracy theorists, whatever, man. Listen. Hey, ready. seriously, seriously. <laughs> right now, how many bow ties do you think you own? Man, I got a, too many. You like too the bow tie king? Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, uh, man. Bow ties. <laughs> yeah. nah, for real, for real, though. And then what's crazy is about that is everybody can't pull the bow tie look on. Oh, yeah. But you be killing me yeah. every time. I'm like, oh, he got the, he got the. Damn, I wish I could do that. Like, you know how you see that? Like, damn, I wish I could do that. Uh -huh. It ain't gonna hit right on me. Right <laughs> see, like, you gotta have like, one of the most expensive outfits on. You can have on, like, you know what I mean? Just draped and whatever. But, you know, bow ties gonna always get attention. You know what I'm saying? That's so, right. that's a good way of, you know, standing out amongst everyone else. You know what I mean? Not taking nothing from anybody that's dressed super fresh, do your thing. I appreciate when I see you. But at the same time, you know, bow ties always gonna stand out on its own regard. That part so, for yeah. sure, for sure. Uh, it's like, all right, so being a DJ, you're around a lot of different artists. Yes. You're around a lot of different people. Yes. A lot of different talent. Do you get tired 
of listening to the music? Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, I don't, man. I don't. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. God yeah, he knew it. Yeah, y'all was going to get it. He almost did. I'm sorry, man. I got to be safe. got to be safe. I know DJ Glad is there. No, I, I don't, man. I, I just love listening to music, man. It's just, it's a universal language. Factual. It's for everybody, you know right. what I mean? So that's a good way I can communicate with anybody, you know, from the most yeah. highest business exec. If you just, you know, hustling, you know what I mean? Yes, we can always connect on music, no matter what. That's a conversation we can always have. No, that's so, very yeah. much true. Yeah, yeah. I think I listen to music based off my emotions a lot of the time. Mm hmm. Yeah. Majority yeah. of the time. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel it. No, I really don't feel like that right now. I'm biased with a lot of people, too. Yeah. I try not to be, but I am, though. I've been working on that about myself. <laughs> just be we having an adventure right now. Yeah, we have, and I'm just talking to you because I know he know he listens to a lot of music. I I listen to a lot of music by you know being a a talk show host and people seeing me in music a lot. And it's like filtering through all of that music. I'm be honest with y'all because KC is probably gonna tell you I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of y'all music ain't that hot. You know what I'm saying <laughs> to be it's a lot of y'all emailing and sending music. <laughs> So when I'm stopping what I'm doing to listen to the music, I want it to be fire. Yeah, and yeah when I fire. hear it and it ain't the fire, I lose a little fire, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to heat check. That was a perfect segue. That's man. what I was yeah, getting. Yeah, perfect segue. <laughs> <laughs> so salute, man. Renegade, Rand, Terry, DJ K. Caesar, man. That's another avenue of the online outreach we got going for the artist, man. Heat check. Comes on every Monday and Wednesday on Facebook Live. We're either on my page, the DJ Casey's or Rand Terry's. Uh, salute to Shondell, mayor of Chicago Radio. He provides the platform for us to play the music through, which is on Power 92. Once we choose, out of the, all of the music that sent in was radio worthy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, But the show is unique because we let the people that's tuning in, we let them decide if the song is hot or not. We take ourselves out of the equation. As the DJ, as the promoter, which is Renegade, and we let those that's tuning in, they decide what they want to hear because that's the consumer. That's who's going to be listening to it on the radio. These so, uh, hey, it's like you can't be thin skinned, man, because if your song gets trashed, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say this. I've watched a few episodes, okay? Yeah. And it goes down. <laughs> oh, yeah, it goes All down. Right? And there'd be a lot of people in there listening, voting too. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, they vote and vote, and it ain't like no. Uh, yeah, we we just watching and listening because it's case and all like we like that. Now nah, we ain't rocking with Buddy, and uh -huh. the comments can get a little harsh because it's a lot of keyboard thugs out here. But, <laughs> but Heat Check is definitely where it's at. It's definitely buzzing. It's definitely hey, little you probably don't know this, but a few friends of mine have got that uh, song the the replay. You know okay, oh yeah, that's they lit. Some that's heat lit. up there one a couple of times, so I was like, hey. Hey, y'all had some heat on the heat chain. Yeah, yeah. It might yeah. be like that, yo. You feel me? Yeah. So that was that was good to kind of just see them have that moment on the show and and, and coming back like, hey, bro, you saw me on the heat chain. So I'm yeah. Like, yeah, something down here. My boy Casey is a boy. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all better check them out. Yeah. But you've been doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've been now doing that. Now it's just the, the consistency is really showing. I think just not only just due to COVID, but it's like now we don't got no choice but to kind of we bored. Not to say it like that, but now we got the time to really look at other things other than what we always focused on and what we always doing. Yeah. So it's like now I got a whole lot of downtime. Oh, I worked on the business and I worked on this, but I'm still in the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now it's leaving room to go check out other avenues and it's a lot of things where we can network mm -hmm. and, and uh, get access to other things that we wouldn't have had access to when we was moving 100 miles. Oh yeah, road. that's true. It's opened a lot of doors as, 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 as well as been a challenge as far as <laughs> adapting to it in this time of things that's going on right now. But do you miss like the club vibe and the uh, well, you know, uh, in Gary, Indiana, <laughs> we're still, for the most part... Oh, we still going crazy. Yeah, we still going crazy. Club's still popping in the G, man. Uh, <laughs> just be safe. You, know, you got to wear the mask. You got social distance. Uh, but, you know, we have to close at midnight. Facts. So, uh, we still have that aspect going. But uh, the whole online and uh, cyber everything 
You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole new world. Right. So I enjoy that just as much. Because, right. you know, I can get done and just go on that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm doing rock and roll and I ain't got no shoes on. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking good from the from the ankles up, like no shoes. You know what I mean? I can't pull that off in the club. <laughs> no, I got my shoes on. I'm jumping around right too much. But uh, yeah, you know the whole cyber thing is cool because you can reach people that you would have never imagined reaching. So uh, instead of just being concealed in this box, which is which could be the club, right. you mostly see you know with a sprinkle of somebody new every once in a while. Right. But you mostly see the same people every week. You know what I mean? It's a lot of repetitiveness. Yeah. But when you get online, man, you're talking to people from everywhere. Yeah, yeah everybody can tune in. So I, I enjoy it a lot, man. It's something I think I'm going to continue to always do. No matter what the situation is physically, I'm going to always be online doing something. Okay, so when are you going to start booming out the truck? That's what we want to know. Man, I've been wanting to do that for years. <laughs> <laughs> when is you going to be the pull up? You know what I'm saying? We're doing this. You just bust the turd, pack the back, open it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get a bigger fan, man. I got to do that, man. KC's so, a block party. You got to pull get, up yeah, and get yeah, it yeah, busted. Right off the back. Right you know what I'm saying? I don't even have to talk. I can stand in that party. <laughs> <laughs> I can stand up in the truck. <laughs> so as far as like, I mean, you've been DJing for a while now. I mean, the transition as far as everything that that has transpired, even as far as the technology and how everything else goes, do you feel like it was it was harder to adapt to a lot of that? Uh yeah, actually, uh, it's a learning curve, definitely, because uh, now with everything digitized, mostly on computers or you jump drive or stream DJing. You have to have some knowledge of computers or just of that digital technology. Right. So it's definitely... Then you get some people that... Because, uh, you know, I started with the uh, turntables. I actually carry crates. The that's, that's exactly the reason why I asked you this yeah. question. Because I know, like, I remember when I, when I was young and my daddy was DJ and helped to lug them crates around yeah. with all the CDs and, them, yeah. and, the, and the big speaker and the lights and the... You get the fog machine. <laughs> Man, we don't even need all this. Shit. Yeah. But, but, I, but as you know, I'm old. I see why he had it because that was really the lit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That brought the people when you come in. They see the lights. They see everything going. It's like, oh, he can DJ. Yeah, 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 it's, it's real. real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've seen. I mean, I've been on both sides of the field, and uh, you know, I like it now because you don't have to carry as much. But then you get some people that just don't want to adapt. So they start da talking down on like the newer generation or like the newer style of DJing. Like, no, nah, that ain't the original. Man, listen, it uh, all the people care about is rocking at the party. I don't give a damn if you playing on a uh, tape. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cassette tape. That's that's. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you rocking the party, you rocking the party, man. Right. So that's what I urge all DJs. A lot of them are like are some younger DJs are ashamed if they don't have the most current equipment or they feel they have something inferior. To what, you know what I mean, everyone else is using. Nah, man, it ain't about that. It's about just rocking the part. If I could come to your event and have a good time, and you consistently kept the music in a place that uplifted everybody, that right. kept everybody lit and up there, that's all that matters. You know what I mean? That part. Yeah, so yeah, all like even all my younger DJs, man, I don't listen to all. You get into these rooms, you'll have people trying to end your career before you even start. Sorry, you know what I mean? So, Y'all hear these jewels he dropping? Y'all the jewels, man, jewels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be walking around here to hit it. We're gonna move it closer. Yeah, that's jewels. Right. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> with that being said, as well, while you dropping jewels, it's been a lot. With us just getting back to people actually working together. I've been seeing a lot of the DJs. Yeah. Working together here, doing a lot of great things together. Uh, I seen that you locked in with a, with a couple of those coalitions as well. Yeah. Kind of speak on the importance of that. And kind of what's some of the reasons to why that was something that you wanted to get into as well. Uh, yeah, it's just good to be around like-minded people and people that are moving forward in the field that you want to, that you're pursuing or that you're in, man. So, uh, like, you know, if I'm DJing, I'm not going to be hanging with a lot of uh, just comedians all day, you know what I mean? Right. So you want to get around people that's like-minded, that's positive, that's moving forward. And it's better if we just work together. That part. So, like, uh, shout, shout out the whole coalition DJs, B-Dub is the... Chicago president, this area, and just everybody that's down with it, man. It's uh, you know, we work together, trade music, uh, trade information, and that's how we just uplift each other as a community. Yeah. Instead of yeah. it's easier to work together and just push forward, instead of you know, you just got some people that just negative, man, hate. Uh, they always want to be in that next position that they feel that they should be in. You know what I'm saying? You can get to that position. But you don't have to drag anybody else down for you to get to that position. That you know what I mean? That person might help you get into that position. 
because you were positive to them previously. That so yeah, it's better to just work together, man. That part is yeah. so for sure. If we don't do nothing else, we need to work work together. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the right way, you feel me? Yeah. Not the wrong way. So with that being said, you used to rap. Yes. We talked out that about you today. That's one jewel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You used to go right. down, man. See how he partied. We seen why he became a DJ. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was personal. <laughs> now, we, now we know why the, where, where that energy comes from. Oh, yeah, he up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he like, he chasing that bag that he's yeah. got, <laughs> but he still wanted it because that's the energy that he chooses to come with. Like, you owe me so just cause I feel like I just gotta show out now. Now I just gotta do it just cause. Yeah, yeah we gotta sign up. <laughs> <laughs> we found out he the bow tie king. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of them. Best dressed DJ out here. Whoever wants yeah. to smoke, we still <laughs> open invitation. We got the heat check going crazy heat out here. Uh, we talked about him actually DJing out the out the uh, truck. KC's Caesar truck. Uh, you know what I mean? Cause we got the KC's Caesar truck. <laughs> Only thing left to do now. You gotta shoot a music video or something. Oh man. yeah, it's going down. Oh, we got we gotta holler at uh, that Power Ninety Two too, man. Salute the squad. Yeah, definitely the squad. Shondell, man. Salute Shondell is the reason I got to the radio, man. Uh, just a quick insert on that. I was DJing at a club Aqua Board in Hammond, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, Power Ninety Two used to sponsor a weekend there. They were saying like Nathan's or just different DJs or hosts. And uh, one week they sent Shondell out. And I'm rocking, and he was like, yo, it was about the second week of us rocking together. And he was like, you know, you ever been on the radio? And I was like, uh, well, no, nah. you know what I mean? I never even thought that I would get to that point. Right. So, uh, you know, I was just, you know, having fun with it. Because I'm an iron worker as well, so I work every day. I got a full-time job yeah, in the union every day. You TikTok a little bit too or something? Yeah, yeah, we doing a little bit. I just got on TikTok. <laughs> I don't want TikTok. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, uh, so Shondell uh, told me how to, you know, Get on there, man, what I needed to do. I submitted the mixes. Uh, and then, you know, they were saying, you know, they could be a little bit better. Those were my first radio mixes. So I had to go back, hit the drawing board. Shout out to Sluggo. I met up with DJ Sluggo. He showed me how to pretty much format a radio mix. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave me like a template on how to do it. And then I just took it and just did me, man. And ever since then, it's been on, man. I've been popping. Bears got me uh, I'm on his show, him and Nathan's on Thursdays. Fridays, I'm with uh, Casanova on his show. Uh, Sundays, I'm on Raw TV with Shondell, so. Full work? Well, yeah, it don't stop. Don't I'm working stop. every day. It don't stop. This the hardest. What did Marvin say earlier? This the hardest guy getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> All he's doing is work, work, yeah, work, it work. Stop. But nothing's wrong with that. I feel like staying consistent is key, especially as as far as 2020 and 2021. Is yes. Is staying consistent with everything that we're doing. Cause times is changing, and we was talking about that earlier in the hallway, like just adapting to this new change. Yeah, and being adaptable, and I feel like the people that's most adaptable is gonna keep winning and keep excelling in this time, cause they gonna look at it and say, "Oh, this ain't working." Mm -hmm. All right, let me go over here and do this real quick. But the yeah. people that's like, "It, it ain't broke. I don't want to fix it. I'm gonna just stay like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how I'm gonna do it. You gotta change. You gotta change the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Technology is better, man. You got to change. It's inevitable. You have to do it. And another thing that this whole uh, COVID ordeal, the negativity it brought, uh, even within all of this, the one silver lining is it opened up avenues for a lot of new people to be recognized. So if you want to get out there and just work and show yourself and learn these different things that you need to learn and move forward and pursue them, you can, like, everybody's on an even playing field at this point. You know what I'm saying? So if you always felt you were in the background or I didn't get enough recognition, this is your time now to get your grind fully activated. That this part. is, like, literally grind time. For that, that, part, that part for sure. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, we know you finna be everywhere, Casey. What's, what's next for you, man? Man, you know, there's so many shows. I would just say, look at my, follow my Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, the new the Clubhouse. We on there. Yeah, we it's, on the clubhouse too. I just got on too. Follow yeah. me on the clubhouse. I just got right on. Right now, right now. It's drunk in the clubhouse. Let them know. What is it? Drunk in the clubhouse. Talk to the shy. Let's get Talk it. Talk to the shy. Follow me on the clubhouse. I was going to do Quan the Don, but I just felt like not enough people know Quan the Don, but they know Talk to the shy. Yeah. So. I just do talk to you. Shine through that. That <laughs> <laughs> part, but yeah, man. But uh, yeah, that's how you. Hey, it's going down right now. But uh, like I was saying, there's so many different events that I have going. 
I, I see Fly and I forgot I even was like, yeah, I'm DJing that? Damn. You know what I mean? I'll be hey, getting about Ain't that the worst? Yeah, hey, yeah. Somebody call you or tell you about something you all. I saw you on that fly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's left for real. Send it to me, me. Yeah. I forgot all about yeah. it. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta act like you know what it is. Yeah. All of them. No, that's not the one. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'm thinking about something else from the last time. Yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot, man. So it's so many different events, man. That part. Yeah. Is it hard to stay this consistent, man? I would say uh, you just got to have the passion for it. You just got to yeah. love it. Yeah, you have to love it. Um, I, It's not hard to stay consistent. You just can't be lazy. Like, you know, you just got to really materialize in your mind that there's no excuses. Yeah. There's no excuses, man. People operate on a, a clock basis. So now we're in the morning, noon, night. You gotta operate on a 24 hour basis. So if you up at two in the morning, you can't go to sleep, you got some work to catch up on. Do that work, two in the morning, just knock it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a 24 hour clock. And that was like, uh, you know, with Eric about doing a verse, and she like, what's well, time? I understood, I always had that same mentality. Like uh, time actually doesn't exist. It's just, you know, you got the night and the day, but we shouldn't be constricted to what we believe time is mentally. Because like we're conditioned to work within this clock. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work outside of that clock. Right. Yeah. That part for sure, for sure. Hey, that's another jewel, man. Y'all hear all these jewels, KC's are dropping. Drop it, boy! Get your treasure chest though. That's why we supposed to have, we supposed to be brr, 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 brr. We supposed to have a whole look. Everything, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to approve the next one. <laughs> I thought we was having a party. We supposed to, you know what I'm saying? We were going to do KC's. We had Amigos stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> they knew it was a real party when they sing Quanta Dog KC's yeah, in the building. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, they're gonna turn up the right way, not the wrong way. <laughs> now, I wish I would have known beforehand because I'd have got suited and booted too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah. came in the gentleman and I just came in my See, I would have put my on the scene shirt, man. Salute Marlboro, man. Y'all know what to do, man. The whole on the scene team, man. Come on, everybody, man. I would have. I had a gift for Casey's and I thought I lost it. <laughs> but I got it. Uh -huh. I got it. I found it again, okay? I'm going to wait this time. I'm going to give him this gift. I ain't got something for him. Because uh -huh. he on the scene. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so the last thing I want to, to to touch up on was I know it's a lot of people that's probably wanting to get a to DJ or you know that see you and get motivated by what it is that you do. Mm -hmm. um, if I was a, a, a up and coming DJ or, or somebody that was just getting started, what would be a piece of advice that you could offer me to get to? I would say, man, uh, definitely start researching. Uh, just look up DJing in general, look at the origin of it, see how it started, look at past equipment and current equipment. I would say contact uh, probably any DJ, cause like the world is small now, it's like zero degrees of separation now with, with all the social media, everybody is accessible to an extent, man. So start writing DJs, ask questions, write a lot of them, you know what I mean? Not just the ones in your city, start sending out questions, uh, you know, start getting some responses, see if you can connect with the DJ in your area that you know that's popping is doing their thing. That way you can like start coming around, just start picking up info here and there. And then, you know, just get out there and start getting it. You know what I mean? Buy some equipment. And I always say, buy the best equipment you can buy. Some people always say, get some beginner stuff that didn't work. No, nah, go straight for the top. Cause you might get good and then you already got what you need. You're ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So I always start at the top if you can, if you can. If you can't, work your way up. That part right there. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest jewel you could have gave right there. I wish somebody would tell me that one before. I would because that would have been the lick that I needed right there. Yeah. Grab, grab the best. Yeah. So when you get there, you ain't, ain't got to worry about it. Because I once I got a hold of it, I was like, you know what? If I could get this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of people that try to get you to start on these low like yeah. <laughs> levels of toys and equipment. I, I wouldn't even say that toys, you know, because or, you know, like a learning type mechanism because right. now you want to get this, then you're going to learn this, now you're going to get that. But now you spent all this money on this, now you're going to spend money on that, now you're trying to get rid of this, don't nobody want to buy it because it's, you know what I mean? Know what it is. Just get it now just, and learn it. You know what I'm saying? Just get it off top, man. Just go and grab it. That part right yeah. there. That part right there. Well, we know it's coronavirus season right now. Yes, sir. Right? So, 
here at On The Scene. We're going to present KC with his own ah, On The Scene mask. We on The Scene. Stay, 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 stay safe and stay corona-free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throw the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that for real. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. But um, with that being said, man, continue to do what you're doing, KC is a man. On the real, on the real, like I was telling you before I came in here, man, I, I, I watch a lot of everybody around the city, and I'm proud of just what we doing as a collective because I feel like it's important for us to all do what we do in our realm. I see a lot of people coming, take what we do and run to their city and go oh, yeah. on with it and all type of, we didn't seen it all, but it's like now it's like we really putting on this in the forefront and, 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 and it's genuine to what we doing here in our area, whether it's the whole Midwest or not just even, but all of it collectively. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Because all of us, like, it's still close. So to me, it's all in the same vicinity. If we went to Texas and you like, I'm from Gary, they're going to say, you from Chicago? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not even, that's a whole nother state. Well, it was crazy, too. People don't know how close the areas are, man. Like, I'm on Clubhouse talking, so they're like, Man, you DJing in Gary, Indiana, and Chicago. I'm like, bro, it's literally like 20 minutes. 20 apart. minutes. Yeah, yeah, so we all connected, man. And it, you know what I mean? The whole Midwest. I'm starting to see a lot of, like I said, my Indianapolis people are, are coming up here a lot. They're doing stuff in Chicago. Exactly. Chicago's an Indianapolis heavy. Uh, man, just the whole Midwest in general, yeah, Milwaukee. Detroit, Detroit, yeah, Rock and Roll, all our people, man. Detroit. I, man, I'm rocking with a lot of different artists and just DJs from Detroit. It's. Midwest definitely is a movement right now, man. Yeah, definitely a movement. Take over so. a whole nother way. Yeah. Then you know what I'm saying. You all, uh, what, what what nights you doing your thing on uh, 92 again? Oh, 92.3. Catch me on a uh, Thursday at 1 a.m. with uh, Ferris and Apis. Friday 1 a.m. with uh, Casanova. Sunday with uh, Shondell and my mixes. The show is from seven to ten. And I'm on the show, Fact. so I'm on there. And then I got mixes that come on at eight and nine on the show. Man, yeah, it just, it's, a, it's a party. And then on Saturday we got the heat check. Mondays and Wednesdays with Renegade. Then we got my banger video Rock and Roller that I started during the quarantine. That's just remember that all the time, man. I just do it random. Man. I used to have set times, but now you know with so much stuff so going much on. So much stuff going on. Hey, you know what? That was that was it right there, though. Yeah, I, yeah. I told you earlier when I see you do, I see it. Damn, what, what, what is going on? Oh, I was so <laughs> tea, and I was, and then I caught myself. Teeing up, like, I'm like, man, hold on, man, see, got me over here <laughs> going crazy. Man, hold on, let me <laughs> yeah. he over here jabbing at me, jabbing. I was not supposed to be doing this right yeah. now. And they caught me slipping. Oh, man. But no, that's, 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 that's good, though. It was just good to just see you hyping and in your own realm and in your own world, you know what I'm saying, unbothered yeah. by anything that was going on. And just hype them up like, bro, like literally. I, I probably would have been a little mad or sad, but then when I synced it, it was just like I had a burst of energy just because you had the energy. Oh, yeah, that's love. You know what that's I'm saying? That's what it was, it's all about. It was coming through. Yeah. That's what it was like. That's yeah, I, 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 I like that. I like that. that yeah. You can tell you put your all into what you do. Oh, yeah. And you're serious about your crap, and it comes across that way as well. Like, I watch a lot of stuff. So yeah. When I'm seeing something, it catch me. I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. I <laughs> that. Oh. Then I saw the heat check, and I say, oh yeah, he on or something. <laughs> oh yeah, man. man. This is definitely lit. I got a couple artists. I'm gonna see Joe A too that I, I want to get to see see if it's some heat. Yeah, get I appreciate the heat that. Don't know too. All artists, get at us, man. Get at us. <laughs> well, I've got a couple. We got a couple new tracks from our rapper while home. Shout out to the whole Trust the Process team. Okay, okay, salute, salute. Um, I've been rocking with them. We've been um, just running all over, doing a whole lot of stuff. But um, we getting ready to apply a little bit of pressure this this little quarter right here. Okay. And, and, and put on what I want to test it to see if, <laughs> if it's, it's really that. that. You know what I mean? Heat check is gonna let you know. Yeah. It's gonna definitely let you know. Send it through like that, like that. Uh, outside of that, when when we having the case season movie coming out? Man. I don't know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about hey, my, every day a movie, man. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I see the snippet on the menu. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to do some acting. Yeah, man. I'm ready to do a little something. So. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Uh, so, for anybody that may not know where to follow you, bro, where we can follow you? Uh, get it, your boy, man. DJ KC's on everything Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I even went back to start of the Black Planet. 
Everywhere, man. We <laughs> own it. <laughs> Clubhouse, we own it. Anywhere you want it, we own it. He got MySpace too. Give me uh, that. Yeah, MySpace. <laughs> anyway, you want it. <laughs> that part for real, man. Uh-huh. So with that being said, y'all know where y'all can follow me at. Uh Don on Facebook. It's just real Quanta Don on Instagram. That's it, y'all. We done did it now. We done talked about everything. <laughs> uh, so a... Oh yeah, we need to hear some music too. We, we got some mix. We can turn. Oh yeah, on yeah, time. yeah. We got some mixes, man. Definitely. Look, we, we got, got some mix. Let's, 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 let's get a mix going yeah. one time. And see what we can get going. <laughs> we finna have a party on the way out, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all can tune in to it a little bit. But we finna have a real party right <laughs> here. Ah, so I'm lit on this. Man, where this music at? Uh. Um, oh, we just put them on the spot. This, this, this is on the spot. <laughs> on the, on the scene. scene. You know what I'm saying? That's how that go. When you on the scene, you get put on the spot. You sing? Sing. Sing. Nah. <laughs> Turn your radios all the way to hell. Turn it up. Yeah, yeah, man, it's a radio mix of it. So hopefully this works. Oh, it did. Okay. Hey. Look at that. Now you're gonna be in the rooms with you now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought we done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I done got sad yeah. and everything. I'm sorry. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna wrap everything up and close until next time, man. Uh-huh. Y'all know this been on the scene on the boy Quanta Don. DJ K R Caesar. Let's get it. That part. Until <laughs> next time. Yeah. <laughs>